Naimani, I am Dr. Courtney Ryder and I'm coming to you from beautiful Ghana country on our Bedford Park campus here in Adelaide. And I wish to acknowledge Ghana elders past, present and emerging. I am the Teaching Program Director of Public Health and Senior Lecturer in Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Public Health. Every single person in the world has been impacted by public health decisions in one way or another. Public health is the art of preventing disease, prolonging life, and promoting health through organised society efforts. The art and science of public health is much more than just medicine. It's about acting to improve and protect communities on a larger scale. Public health tends to fall into three very discrete categories, protection, promotion, and prevention. Working in public health, you have a chance to change the course of history in health. This can be through pandemic prevention, it may be through vaccination rights, through government reports, through medicine, through education, through data analysis. There's a range of different areas where public health physicians and public health practitioners can make a significant difference to health and wellbeing outcomes. Familiar public health roles include things such as epidemiologists, public health officers, and these officers do things such as case contact tracing, as well as sort of prevention of pandemics as well. Social marketers looking specifically into uh, public health marketing. So think about things such as the Slip Slop Slap campaign in Australia. Youth workers focused on substance abuse or homelessness, so you can see the possibilities are practically endless. In these roles, you could find yourself working in organisations such as the local, state or Commonwealth governments, or schools and universities such as the George Institute for Global Health or the South Australian Health and Medical Research Institute. You could be working for health centres or hospitals. You can also be working for community centres and organisations, or you could be working in the private sector or for NGOs, such as the World Health Organisation or the United Nations. Healthcare is Australia's largest growing industry, and it currently employs 1.5 million people in Australia. By 2022, it has been estimated that the healthcare industry will add another 250,000 jobs to the sector. At the undergraduate level here at Flinders University, we actually offer two programs. So the first one is the Undergraduate Certificate of Public Health. So this is a six month full time, or it is a 12 month part time program that is offered completely online. In this program, we provide students with foundations within public health and also research skills and an opportunity for students to actually explore further and specialise into global health, Indigenous health and also the social determinants of health and wellbeing. It's designed for people that are perhaps looking to sort of get into tertiary university. They're not too sure if they want to undertake a full undergraduate degree, so it gives a bit of a taster. But it's also uh, there is an opportunity for people who want to understand public health and have, I guess you could say, a broad principle approach and understanding to public health. If you're really enjoying that program and you want to take it a bit further, you can actually upgrade into the Bachelors of Public Health as well, which is three years full time or six years part time. And it has a flexible mode of delivery where students can actually study online, so completely online can study on campus or can do a bit of a mixed mode approach to this. The Bachelors of Public Health also has a very unique core focus in Indigenous health. We also provide students in their first year with a six week mentor program with our paramedicine students, providing them with the right support to really excel we also offer students within their third year with a practicum industry placement, which is really about that work integrated learning approach for students. Flinders University has a long history of Flinders University graduates going on to make substantial change in public health. One of those is our Chief Public Health Officer in South Australia, Professor Nicholas Spurrier. 
Professor Michael Kidd, who is the Deputy Chief Medical Officer in Australia. Professor Wendy Rogers, who is a Professor of Ethics at Macquarie University. Professor Chris Bagley, Haast Chief Medical Officer of Australia. And Professor Bagley has recently been a part of our Bachelor of Public Health program, providing guest lectures to our students in their first year of study. Flinders University also offers you the opportunity to be educated by world leaders in this area. We are the only university in Australia with a very unique central corridor through Australia. This provides students the opportunity to be educated, located, but also industry ready across vast locations in Australia. And this includes from the metropolitan, outer regional, remote to rural areas in Australia. And across all of these different locations, this means that you're given the opportunity to learn about very unique and different public health um, challenges. Thanks for visiting Flinders University, and I look forward to welcoming you on campus soon.